a little drowned out potentially by me. I'm not sure. Didn't hear the beginning. All right. Uh, Recording started. Me? Hello, YouTube. Um, not yet. I heard it more last night, but it was on and off. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, let me uh, let me click one of your links and play that for the stream. Oh shit, I forgot to listen to that. Oh no. <laughs> the the uh Cape Breton lullaby. Uh I forgot to listen to that. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, damn. I I'm scrolling up and I passed that. I was like, did I? <laughs> nope. Um been channeled in. Uh, that's that. But you sent me some, uh, man, some lo-fi beats before. You must, I feel like you sent them to the chat. And well, not me. Do you, was it lo-fi girl? Or was it like Zelda lo-fi? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, this is what I was looking for. It was in the chat from September fifteenth, FF seven Lofi. I'll I'll listen oh, to that one. That's a good one. That's what I'm gonna listen to. That's what I was looking for. Let's see, start the beginning. All right, let me make sure the volume is good. Mm, about half is good, probably. All right. Uh, all right. I am about to start. So five, four, three, two, and then new five, four, three, two, one. Anyway, pylon on the seventh probe. Always. <laughs> That's my advice. I'll be alright. I'll be cheese fan. I I know you you're not new to Protoss. I just played so much that I'm like, uh, God, <laughs> can I can I do this more times or? <laughs> uh. I also try to make sure wherever I place the pylon, I can fit uh, two cannons above vertically or or three cannons. Uh, horizontally, roughly. I don't know. It tends to be my my general effort with the uh, Protoss. Whoops, I haven't shared vision yet. So, do you have a science for Zerg where you uh, build a new, or build a creep colony at a specific time and a spawning colony at a specific time and stuff like that? Yes. Okay, I would I would be interested to know because I don't have that. Yeah. See, uh, you build a creep there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have built a creep there. I would have built the sunken there. Not sunken. The um Zerg pool. The spawning pool. Oh, you would have started with that instead of the sunk. Okay, gotcha. I didn't even realize. Man, I always start with the with the creep colony. Okay, got it. No, and exactly where you put the creep is where you put the the pool. Okay. See, I need that kind of advice. <clears throat> and then after that, you'll have one space outside of um your vest pane to put that creep, and then you'll start. Um, building out, but that allows you to build a sunken right away, and also a set of zerglings to run around. So I'm definitely vulnerable to a zerg rush, in other words. Absolutely. Well, I'll do what I can. I'll make this into a sunken ASAP <laughs> and make zerglings ASAP. I did make an extra overlord to keep income coming in, so all right, I'm about to finish the spawning pool, so. Here we go. 
Circlings. Alright. Sunken. Circlings. I have cannons up, so. I'm oh, good. If you have cannons up, there's probably not going to be a Zerg Rush then, so that shows how slow I am then. Got it. Okay. I have a uh, overlord at the front of my base just to. Uh, just so I can see stuff coming. Give you a heads up when you're about to get wrecked. Basically, yeah. I, I have a sunken and some zerglings though, so I'm not in terrible shape now. Um, okay. I could easily handle a rush, but I really need to get moving with more colonies to handle more than that. So do you just keep pressing S on your hatchery until uh, <laughs> until you can make a drone or something? Like, what what, what do you do? <laughs> oh know. shit, I have, so, I have so much money. Oh, I have too much money. I have way too much money. Shit. You have way too much money. I'm making another hatchery because I have so much money. But I'm also making another sunken because I need, I need more defense. Yep, I told you. I need I need a handicap here. to make an extractor earlier than you need to with Protoss. What was that? I think you need to make, make an extractor for Vespian sooner as Zerg than you do as Protoss. Yes, I would agree with that. I'm about to have seven sunken, so I'm not doing too bad, I guess. <laughs> uh, I also have two hatcheries, so I'm making troops quickly. I'm making more zerglings to reinforce. I'm starting to spend at least, but I could use another hatchery even. Three hatcheries would be good, even even this early, I think, because I have too much money. All right, pro <laughs> top. You can. Yeah. And the others weren't really touched, so. All right, I'm not doing oh. too bad. I'm uh, I'm recovering a little bit. So uh, a, lot, a lot of defense Aaron. at least, but <laughs> glad you're getting attacked. On the other hand, still. <laughs> Second turn. So three of them attacked me so far, out of the four. That is convenient for me.
All right, making a rush of drones here to build a bunch more. But I have three hatcheries, which seems to be sufficient for draining my resources properly. So that's good. <laughs> I need to keep up with my resource gathering. Those layers are too close to the Oops. the wall. Overlord under attack. They're coming in. Here we go. Have a few zealots if you need them. Attacks coming my way or your way. <clears throat> I'm seeing orange troops. Your way. Oh shit, that's not good. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I have a few that's on the way. I'm making hydralis, but uh. Damn. Okay. My Suggins to took him out, but ouch. I could probably use the defense if you want to hang out, though. Oh shit. You have a Dark Templar on your base? It's also near an Overlord. Got him. Damn. 
ます。はいSurrounded by turn. Oranges protest. Tanks. Shit. I am in a decent position to defend my base now. Um, I have two girls on my list. I'm not doing well. I didn't notice they were attacking the front of my base. At all. Oh, oh you don't have zealots? Shit. Uh, let, me, let me bring my hydrolis over. I don't know if I'll be able to salvage it in time, but... Uh, I'm coming. Troops I have are coming. Oh shit, I'm good. Wait, I ran some tanks. I some more tanks. Oh shit, they're wrecking me. I gotta go in the middle of them before I attack. Just these three left. Sweet. Bring your zealots back to your base for now. I should be okay for now. I'm making. Alright, if you're sure. Yeah, I, I should be able to get my cannons up pretty fast. A lot of freaking cannon tanks though, oh my god. Twelve maybe? Yep. Ooh, I'm starting to get air attacks. Shit, I guess I made more drones just in time to start deterring them.
bounce an attack from the bottom too. Cannons back up. Okay, good. I'm expanding my creep and sunken to the front of my base, finally. I'm recovering for sure. I still have a lot of money to spend, but... Oh my god, minerals is such a problem. Yeah, that's the bane of Protoss existence. I had to reinforce the bottom with two sets of cannons because the, the Corsairs keep a uh, stasis feeling the first layer and then they drop on people in their days. Interesting. Like, That's pretty rare for me. Uh, it might be because uh, try setting your cannons further back from the edge because that never happens to me. I do that for purposes of siege tanks really but maybe it'll help for, with that too in a weird way. Yeah, you see him sitting outside my base, the Corsairs? Yeah, and I'm telling you, they never drop. I, I, all the matches we've done, what you just described never happened to me. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. I, I do set my cannons further back, that's the only difference I can think. But it's to prevent... Um, it actually deters a lot of dropships, because they're willing to go a certain distance, but... I feel like setting them back a, a little bit. Not that far. Maybe like two or three rows back from where you have them. I tend to have a tighter base because it tends to pay off for whatever reason. Especially with tanks. Trying to mix in some spore colonies with my sunkins now. I'm gonna go Hydralisks, because why not? That's your damn scout, bitch. Remember, you could have your zealots back at any time. They're not contributing that much to my base at this point. So, if you want to keep track of your troops better, you can take your zealots back. No, uh, I got a group. At least send them to do something, because they're really not doing much here. Especially if you're starting to fill up your psi energy or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to send them to attack once I am better situated. Alright.
Oh, Jesus. You all right? No, Terran's throwing everything they got at me. Damn, I just recovered, recovered from an attack. But I have some troops, so okay. Uh, I can send them your way if you think it's worth it. I've, it I've, might uh, be. All right. On the way. I'm sending Hydralis, so they're pretty versatile, so hopefully that should help. You can take out this Valkyrie real quick, and then we get a chance. Stay here for a bit, but I can't stay for long. Oh shit! Tanks will wreck me if I well, if I'm not. I need to be in the more open space. I need to get away from your base, but I'm pulling more enemies to me too. Shit, tanks. Ah. Uh, all right, that's fine. I just try to rebuild cannons. I'm gonna try to retreat again and hope it works out this time. All 
forces are under attack. Let me know if you need more support. I'm gonna try to keep building hydralists, but do the best I can. Shit is a uh... oh shit. Uh, dumbass guardian. Oh god, here they come. Remember to target your... well, you don't have to worry with Battlecruz as much. Carriers are more of a pain in the ass. God, my troops are... Oh, I'm dead. Shit. That was bad for me. I lost all my troops. Okay, well, so it seems like we're losing because neither of us have troops now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. That is correct. Okay. Multiple lessons learned for me. Uh, let's take a piss. Be right back. I'll be right back, too. All right. I'm just getting back.
I'm back. All right. I think I was reminded that I really don't like. Which one columns? Carriers. <laughs> Carriers are good if you use them properly and if they have a different, if they have scouts to back them up. I I learned. That's why I started doing that. If you noticed, it, they're very good if they have scouts to back them up. They will live along and kill a lot of shit as long as you can deal with unexpected shit with scouts or protect them with scouts. So I would I would try to do both if you're gonna go air. Yeah, like battle cruisers. Can't fuck with them. Yeah, battle cruisers are pretty straightforward. I mean, it's like, well, they hit one target. They're strong. They could take some hits. That's it. <laughs> pretty simple. Setting up music again. Doing a Winamp playlist again. I added more songs. I removed one that had a copyright notice <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Which is fine. They don't care as long as I'm not monetizing my video, generally. So it's usually not a big deal. So uh, I, I am, uh, I'm learning. That's the purpose mm -hmm. of this. I'm learning. Before I monetize potentially someday. <laughs> On battleforum.com, it seems like the battle cruiser is listed as the strongest unit. Strong. Followed by Dark Archons. Really? That's interesting. Dark Archons are second? What the hell? Damn. I mean, I know you can do some interesting stuff with Dark Archons, but you really have to be attentive to your Dark Archons to use them properly. So it does distract from other stuff, potentially. That's that's the problem with them. Kind of like the High Templar. If you're going to Psystorm shit, you can't be paying attention to anything else. You got to be aiming and focusing on using one Templar and ignoring the rest of your army, which is uh, annoying as a human, but great as a computer. Like what's the what's what's good about Dark Archons? It's not mind control, is it? Is it Maelstrom? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Anyway, uh, game's up. Lobby's up. Good to go. Okay. Let me just. Skimming through a few more songs. I don't think I'm gonna add much more though. Wow, this is Final Fantasy music, which is probably an issue if it's not Final Fantasy Tactics. FFT gets away with it for some reason. Never gets flagged. Even though it's great music. So I'm happy about that at least. Mm. I'm going to try adding some trance to the mix. Alright, but that's enough for now. So, I'm going to start in five.
Tato é. What drone do you use to build a spawning pool? Seven? Yep. Okay, so it's like a pylon with Protoss. Return eight's the barracks, nine is the first uh, supply depot. Do you keep building drones to keep getting more resources faster while you're before you, or, well, or do you pause to get resources and then make the spawning pool? Uh, I pause to make the spawning pool. Alright, I made one extra, so whoops. <laughs> but I stopped. I'll make a spawning pool. Alright, make a spawning pool. Yeah, that makes sense. It's it's different from the Protoss. It's the, you can more seamlessly transition if you're quick enough with the Protoss. Not perfectly, but uh... so when do you make your creep colony? You can do it now. Okay, you just make the spawning pool first. Correct. Because the creep column is useless without the spawning pool. That's true. It'll build creep, but you can't really build anything else. So it doesn't fucking matter. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm used to like vanilla storyline missions, so yeah. Oh, great. Making my first uh, making this group of six circlings right now. So I guess I would be prepared for a rush potentially this time, unlike last time. It's definitely better. All right, great. 15 seconds. I am ready for ha an attack. I'll be protected. I'll be fine if I get attacked now. I have four of them in the making. One of them is about five seconds away from being done, so... It's tough as Protoss, though. You, it's it's tough to be ready on time. <laughs> I, uh, if they were going to Zerg Rush, they would have gotten you already. So we're good, I guess, again. Make an extractor, make a second hatchery. I hope this is not a bad idea right now, but I don't want to fall behind like last time. Let me make another sucking. The earliest you can afford a second hatchery is is better. Best. Barely. I am spending my resource a lot better than last time. So, uh, also I have an extractor up, so I can make. I can get gas now. I have a second sunken building. I'm gonna make a third just for safety. <laughs> but more drones. I'm gonna make our zergling soon too. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have three sunken shortly. I have two up. More zerglings, here we go. Third sunken going. Um, I'm gonna go for a fourth one just to be safe. Or Zerglings again. I wanna have a full group of Zerglings. Hey, hatchery's done. More Zerglings. Alright, back to drones. Overlords. Yes, please. Alright, I have a group of Zerglings, so I have four Sunkins, 
And a group of Zerglings, so I'm in I'm not in bad shape. Uh, I need to get more resources though. Overlord, finish. I can make another hatchery at this point, actually. Damn. Let's do that without delay. No, since I can. Also, let me get Vespian gas. Make a hydralis den. Oh, here they come. Oh! Back up. Let the Sunkers do the work. Nope. Let's not confront Zealots head on, Zerglings. That's pretty dumb of you. Back up, let the Sungas do the work! Back up! Uh oh. Is this, will this be enough? Uh oh. <laughs> yes, 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 Oh no! More! Oh no, more coming! Oh no! No! Get out of here! No! No! I'm dead. You are indeed. Shit. I got, uh, th three. I got, I got all four of them. That's all four of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, I don't know how I'm going to play Zerg against six. That's going to be, uh, if that's what we're aiming for, shit. <laughs> Can I really get that much better? Hopefully. So th there's a trick with Zerglings. Uh, you don't attack them. You yeah, run around him in circles. Hmm. Literally. You hit him once, or twice to get their attention, and you run him around your creep. Hmm. That's why I said I just can't play to protect your sunkins. Zerglings can go. You can use your, your drones if you need to, uh, to run them around. But right at the beginning game, it's all about the run around. I see. They're coming in. I mean, I'm dead, so... I'm just curious to see... If they all come? Some I mean, will come. I assume they're all gonna come. You know they go straight for players, no matter where you are. I wonder if it would be worth focusing on a single race for now, if that would help me get better faster. But I think it'll I be worth it. might be worse, yeah. <laughs> I then I would be... Well, I don't know. Who knows? Might not be that bad, but... Because each race has a really good way to combat Zerg. Zerg has, has a really good uh, counter, don't get me wrong, but, like, just imagine all Protoss. You can't take on Zealots. Well, Zer Zer yeah, Zerg is like a glass cannon, kind of, <laughs> interestingly. Like, they could take out a lot of shit, for sure. But everything else has a good counter to them, yeah. Terran, um, the range kills. <laughs> the problem with the, with Zerglings are they don't have a lot of health. So, uh, one one um, one Terran, what's it called? Not Firebat. The shooting guys, the range guys, um, can take out a Zerg like, without a problem. Just because the Zerg has to run up to it. By the time it runs up to it, the Marine. Um, the Marine's gonna hit him at least twice to three times. Yeah. I mean, I I so, didn't make them to attack. Is more to defend with the Sunkins. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bulking also bulking your zunk, Sunkins up is not the best of idea. Um, you want to space them out just so you utilize the travel time of units. Yeah. Because if they got out from one sunken to another, in that time, two other sunkens can hit them. I generally do that, so that's not an issue for me usually. Kill beans. Uh, I'm good to go.
Do you let your uh, spawning pool zergling get minerals once? Because that's what I just did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it didn't waste time, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to learn here. Okay. I had time to let him get one mineral. Do you make an overlord as soon as you're, you hit 9? Or earlier? 8. Overlords take a long time to spawn. Alright, that was my only mistake so far then. <clears throat> so I'm doing better. First cannon's already up. Yeah, I, I shifted that to um, probe number six, not seven. And I'm able to manage money a little better that way. So I'm not waiting for the forge to pop. And I got a can that's faster. May only be like 30 seconds, but for a Zerg Rush? For a Zerg Rush, one will be enough. Uh, it, there was one spawn right next to it. Like, building, so it, it probably would have been okay. No attacks yet? Not yet. I have a lot of Zerglings, though. I have 10 now. It's like natural Chirurgy. building. Maybe, but. Well, maybe. Alright. <laughs> sure. Let's do it. You wanna take him out, but you'll piss him off. If there's someone down here. There is not. I picked the wrong direction. So maybe I'll go back to base, because they're probably about to attack soon. At least you know. I guess, sure. I don't know if I said this in my head or out loud, but I think probes are the dumbest units in the game. Are, are they running around minerals? Mm-hmm. It's the uh, only rate that fucking does that. You feel my pain. God. <laughs> That's so frustrating. I had, to, I, set, I had to start getting used to setting rally points next to the mineral I wanted them to mine, just so I didn't get messed up on where, where I wanted them to go, and they could get it without issues it was it was man it was it was a weird micromanagement early game but, but i dealt with it i guess because they did that so much okay what do we got here protoss
I'm reinforcing my sunkens now, now that I have a full group of circlings, but I also need to make a uh, hydralis den and shit. So I'm going to start that. Uh, shoot, <laughs> neglected Vespine a little bit. But I could also use more minerals, so that's not too bad, I guess. I spread out sunken, so hopefully that helps. Spending my resources okay, I guess. Need to get these. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Turn or attacking. Turn? Really fun. I've been concerned if it was Protoss. But I do have spread out sunken, so I would I would be okay. If there's more than one Protoss, I'm sure I would lose. <laughs> Still not there yet.
Holy Zerk. Shit. Damn it. Damn, thanks for the support. Got you. I had to... I had to kill a... friggin... Uh... Row of cannons in my base. Cause I couldn't get out. Yeah, Dark Templar sometimes had that problem. Got a bunch of drones producing to replace those. Probably mind control. Because if you got like, you know, a bunch of battle cruisers, you take six out of the twelve. Did you recover? Did I recover? I think so. 
a bunch of sunkens back up. I have a couple of groups of hydralists. Uh, I'm going to start making mutalists, I guess. Need a little more money. We don't know where anyone is, right? Well, they weren't below me, though I am making an air defense. Just because, you know. But, uh, so you don't get your ass whooped. Sounds urgy wergy. Can you move your uh, Dark Templar back? Or back to your base, that works. <laughs> the havoc that only four Dark Templar can wreak is crazy. Nonetheless, 24. I need that distraction, so I'm glad you're doing that.
I'm here for a good time, not a long time, man. Alright, I mean, I killed a lot of troops. Nicely done, sir. And oh, I took out the bait. Oh, boy. Alright. Can't disable my Hydralis, bitch. Oh shit. Shit, oh shit, oh shit. Man, these freaking Corsairs. Oh shit. Oh my god, oh no, really? Oh no, shit. I thought I'd be better prepared for this. Oh no, oh no. Damn. Wow, they wiped out everything I had. Wow, they wiped out six groups of troops of mine. Damn it. Holy shit. I am dead all of a sudden. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> uh, I thought I was doing okay. Shit. Oh my god, man. Don't worry, there's more coming your way. I can see that. <laughs> Is getting wrecked.
Oh, they, they just came to me instead. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Hmm. More lessons learned. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, I thought I might be able to recover until they set reinforcements. Okay. Well, I did better. <laughs> also, apparently you're struggling too, so I guess we're both dealing with shit. But I'm dead though. You're 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 getting to that point. I'm at that point. <laughs> huh. My economy is dead. Couldn't have done much to recover from that. Oh boy. Yeah. Getting used to stuff. Alright, I'm good for one more match with Zerg, but uh, after that, uh, I might be I might be done losing <laughs> if we lose again. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm StarCraft out for another day. I am also fine with that. Because <laughs> I'm a little, uh... Man, I, I learned a lot from those few matches, but, uh... Alright, I'm good stopping too. Let's see, we don't really have a game right now, do we? Oh, we did download we were here. But I don't feel like that right now. But not late night. On the other hand, it's about that time. I gotta check uh, with the boys for league. Hmm. Let me see. If I play league, I don't want to play it as late as last night. I'd like to get some notes with the party and so maybe I'll bounce around 12, 12, 15. Because I'd like to be done by. Wow, even earlier than last night. Wow. I mean, that makes me happy because then I can get sleep earlier. <laughs> so. Yeah, I just need to know <laughs> Whenever you do that, that makes me happy because I get more sleep. <laughs> I feel like I stay up pretty late for Never Split the Party. So, all right, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. If, uh, if you want to go play for a while, go for it. Just uh, let me know. Um, They just hopped in a game, I think. 
Oh, is there anything we can do for 20 minutes? Hmm. Mm. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what we need to do. I it's gonna be a big commitment, and it might take a while. But if we don't do it, we're never gonna do it. Uh, we should start raft. <laughs> oh god, that's a that's a December thing when I'm off from work. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but you need to put in like the time you put into Starcraft would be sufficient. Uh. Put it this way, in December, I'm off for like almost three weeks. So, I mean, okay, that's cool. If we could plan for that, that'd be great because I do want to experience the new stuff. I've I've very much avoided watching content from the new areas because I don't want to get spoiled. Um, it's been an effort though, but we don't have to wait. It, it it's not it's not that kind of game. You don't have to dump like five. 10, 20 hours in a few days. You don't have to. You can take it slow. You don't have to go into that fast. No, I know. I'm about to. I'm about to do a PAA show at the theater, starting pretty much tomorrow-ish. I'm probably going to be starting to hang. Rehearsal starts on Friday till next week, and then right after that show, I go into pre-production for a main stage show, which brings me to the Black Friday season. Since I run eco at my job now, so. Uh, that's going to coincide with also this website project launching. So I'm pretty much going to be, I think, fucked for um, a little while now. So, like, even oh, like shit. the theater. Oh, what? So, you, I, well, no, sorry, I'm just reacting to what you're saying. Like, so you'll be around for as much as what you're saying? Correct. Gotcha. Oh, man. All right. So, even if we want to play StarCraft, is that is that going to suffer too, probably? Yeah. Gotcha. Yes, yeah. right. I mean, which is, which is fine. We 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 played a lot of StarCraft, so all right, that's fine. Yeah. So like, I, I'm planning on hanging instruments tomorrow and Wednesday, but I may be going out to depending how Lex feels if she's able to uh, go out in the city. Uh, I we usually go out on Wednesdays for um for dinner and drinks and stuff, and then on Thursday I'm meeting somebody at the theater to cue the show. Friday I won't be there. That's load in. Saturday and Sunday we'll be at the theater, and it's also my niece's birthday. 